Hey, what's going on everybody? Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech here with a video. Uh, today's date is March 24th. Uh, we'll start off the video with some quick hits. We'll address some, uh, some hardware announcements, a little bit of news on the hardware end. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about some devices that are up and coming, those that have been released, uh, some special offers from some carriers in terms of carrier news, and uh, then into some software. So let's start with the quick hits. Okay, to start off with some hardware, we have uh, the Moto G5 Plus, which has been announced here uh, in the U.S. Looks like a bunch of different stores are going to be carrying this device, ranging from Amazon, eBay, Best Buy, b and I'm guessing Carphone Warehouse, and some of these other types of uh, distributors. Uh, pricing varies, but it looks like you can get a good deal on the Amazon version, which does come with ads for $185.00. Very, very good device. It's got 2 gigs of RAM, excellent SOC, I think a 625 Snapdragon processor. Uh, it is the unlocked variation, so it should be working on all U.S. networks. Not sure if it's GSM only. Uh, check the availability at those sellers. Also, um, not necessarily brand new news, but this week the Apple iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is available in red. The red edition uh, does have proceeds go to HIV research and HIV funding. So if you're in the market for an Apple iOS device, the 7 and 7 Plus are now available in a special red color with proceeds going to uh, HIV research. Uh, looks like pre-orders for the S8 are going to be coming with a Gear VR and $100 gift card, I believe if you're ordering from Target. So the company, the store Target, is going to have a special offer. You'll be getting the virtual reality headset with the Galaxy S8 or whatever the larger variation is. Uh, it also come with a $100 gift card, probably for the store. More from the quick hits, we have the unlocked LG G6, new device from LG. Will be available direct from LG as an unlocked model. It looks like it's also going to be shipping with an FM radio chip that is activated and available to use. For some of you, I think this uh, might be good news. Some of you like to use FM radio. If you have the module enabled in your phone, which most American phones do not, uh, comes disabled for whatever reason, uh, if you have the headphones that serve as the antenna, it will have a built-in enabled FM uh, modulator in there. So that's good news for those picking up the LG G6. Or maybe that could possibly be a deal breaker for some that might get you over, maybe take that over the S8, who knows. Uh, moving on, Nokia has announced that the Model 3, 5, and 6 uh, new phones, Android operating cell phones, are going to launch in 120 markets, and the U.S. is included. So for those of you excited for the Nokia launches of those three models, uh, be on the lookout for those. Okay, from the software end of things, uh, for anybody that is using the current Hangouts application, whether you downloaded APK or from the Google Play Store, it looks like at some point in May, around May 22nd, uh, Google Hangouts will be losing SMS uh, abilities. I'm not sure why or what the purpose is, but I'm sure it has something to do with the, uh, the RCS messaging. Uh, we'll see what comes of that. For those of you using Hangouts, looks like you're going to have to find a substitute by May 22nd. Uh, those with the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T models it is getting a Google Assistant software update. So for those of you that are looking forward to that feature or those that don't know what it is, uh, you may look into it. It is coming to the OnePlus 3 and 3T. Uh, announcement on the Galaxy Note 7. You probably thought it was dead and that it was a uh, goner. It looks like some people have still held on to these devices even after experts have told uh, of its issues and there's been multiple testing and recalls. Samsung has done everything in their power to retrieve these devices. Um, for whatever reason, if you still have one, if you're watching this on one, if you own one, if you're thinking about looking for one, the Note 7 is going to receive a software update over the air that is going to disable the battery and basically kill it, prevent it from being able to be charged. In carrier news, AT&T is uh, shifting their focus to services and content. Uh, this is... Um, uh, strategic move that they're doing to try to broaden their abilities to gain revenue from other streams of um, money streams. Uh, their focus on DirecTV now uh, is obviously key on this. 
So uh, AT&T looks to be pushing on other methods of getting revenue, not just in the cellular realm. So um, hopefully this doesn't affect their investment into their uh, LTE networks and so on and moving towards 5G. Uh, so we'll see what comes of that. Any announcements, I will follow up. Uh, also from the AT&T side of things, uh, March security patch for the LG G5 and V10 is being sent out. So for those of you with those devices, uh, you will be receiving an over-the-air update for the March security patch. That is the AT&T variants to the LG G5 and LG V10. So good news for those who want to keep their devices secure and safe. Uh, in other announcements, T-Mobile is going to be implementing a new strategic use of some spam blocking abilities starting in April. So for those of you that are on the carrier, the T-Mobile network, it looks like you will be receiving some form of secondary uh, support from T-Mobile that will disable or at least reduce the amount of spam calls and uh, scam calls that you'll be receiving. Looks like the time frame is set for April, so um, we'll see what comes of that. That is definitely good news. Nobody likes spam or scams. So that's it for this update. Uh, they were just some things I wanted to get out there. Thanks for watching. Uh, give this a like, a thumbs up. Uh, give me a share and a subscription for those who haven't yet. I appreciate you guys spending the time to watch. And uh, leave some comments. Uh, you know, drop some lines in there. Let's get some discussion on this channel. Uh, Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.